Yo guys, punk around another video. Again, we're gonna continue with this same series covering the best items from Blackwing Lair. So far we did the trinkets, we did the weapons, and now we're gonna be doing offset armor pieces. The last video I think in this series that I'm probably gonna end up doing is probably the best tier pieces, maybe even the best tier sets, I'm not 100% sure, but we're definitely gonna cover the tier sets, so I'm gonna be omitting those from this video specifically. Now there's actually a lot that we have to cover, so I'm gonna keep the intro swift, concise. These are the best offset pieces in Blackwing Lair. Let's get into it. First item on the list is probably really exciting for a lot of you, considering I think probably like 20% of the population that plays this game are actually mages. And then if you add the warlocks on top of that, it's probably around 30% of you guys that are going to be gunning after this item. It's called the Mantle of the Blackwing Cabal. On a mage and a warlock, if you're not hitting rank 10, you can't really get access to really good shoulders. Arcanist and Felhart shoulders fall really short. In fact, they're worse than a lot of options that you can get out there just from farming dungeons and random blue gear. Even green spell school spell power shoulders are better than tier 1. But now you have a nice option. The Mantle of the Blackwing Cabal packs a hefty punch with plus 34 spell power, 16 intellect and 12 stamina on top of that giving you nice base stats and a really strong amount amount of power. One of the best parts about these is that they drop off the first boss as well, so you don't even have to go deep into BWL to get them. In fact, you'll probably see these in pugs quite often that might not even be clearing the entire dungeon. A lot of people don't like the way that they look. They're really simple. They look like the mage class specific set from ZG, but honestly, I think there's beauty in simplicity. They're not like massive overbearing shoulders with, you know, animations on them or anything, but they are quite nice and they're really, really good. And I've been saying basically mage and warlock the whole time, but these I'm pretty sure are the best best if not second best shadow priest shoulders in the game as well so if you're a shadow priest then this is exactly what you want right i mean you probably want mp5 but that probably doesn't exist all right now the next really really nice item that you can get in bwl is called the shroud of pure thought there's not really too much to say about this item except for the fact that it's pretty much perfectly itemized you're not going to replace this for a really long time it's one of the best healing cloaks in the game by far 11 intellect 10 stamina 33 healing and 6 mp5 there's basically no wasted stats whatsoever and according to Wowhead, apparently it has the highest drop rate off Flame Gore at 24%, meaning theoretically one in every four Flame Gore kills that you take part in, you will probably have a chance of seeing this. The next best cloak that you can get is off Cthulhu. It's called the Cloak of Clarity, and it's definitely better, but I'd say only marginally so. So this is a cloak that you can get in BWL and pretty much have until, you know, the end of Nax. All right, so the next one that we got to cover is off Ebonrock. It's called the Band of Forced Concentration. It's got 12 intellect, 9 stamina, 1% chance to spell hit and 21 spell power. So in the current state of the game, there's no good spell power rings. You guys might be thinking, what about ring of spell power? Yeah, it's okay. And it's still going to be one of the BIS rings that you can get. But outside of that, there's nothing that gives you crit or hit at all. There are some that come later on in phase five that are actually going to be added towards dungeons and in ZG as well. But right now, you don't really have too many options when it comes to rings like melee do with Don Julio, Pain Weaver, you name it. This changes the game a little bit. And this is especially valuable for Warlocks. Warlocks struggle when it comes to hit rating since they don't have a talent for it and there's basically no gear out there that has hit. Nobody has their spell hit right now. But this is going to make your life a lot better. It's a really well itemized ring with 22 spell power, 1% hit, and on top of that it has some really nice base stats as well which ring of spell power and other alternatives don't have this much intellect and this much stamina. This is going to be the new ring of spell power. When it drops you're going to see 15 mages and warlocks linking in chat to try to get it. Now on that same line we have another item which is super unique. It's not something that can casters have had access to in the current state of itemization. All the casters right now are looking for sublime wrist guards or their tier, which are really simple bracers. They just give a little bit of spell power and some base stats. Well, now you have mages once again, they're all going to be fighting over this item because it's going to be the only option for you to really set your character apart from the pack and start pushing some really nice parses. We're talking about the bracers of arcane accuracy. I mean, check these bad boys out. They drop off broodlord lash layer and they're pretty much the best bracers that you can get within a raid until max off gothic but the only time you're going to switch to the gothic bracers is once you've actually achieved one percent above your hit cap or you got a crit threshold where you can start substituting your hit for crit of course unless you're a warlock then these are going to be the second tier best in slot bracers out there you can get rock fury to replace them you'll gain a little bit of spell power those are actually from a rep grind quest that you can do out in silithus once aq40 comes out but rock fury and these are basically the same thing in fact these have way more base stats and honestly i'd be totally happy with these over rock fury so for warlock these 
and Rock Fury are the best bracers that you can get in the entire game. And having an extra item slot where you can get hit and spell power from really changes the whole itemization dynamic for you. Right now, I'd say casters don't really care about bracers. Maybe they got their tier. It's like, oh, whatever, I got some bracers. But I remember getting these in Blackwing Lair on my mage a while ago. And when I got them, I was like, I, the amount of excitement that I had for them. Like, it's they're such good bracers that you'll actually get super excited for them. This is low key one of the best items in Blackwing Lair. All right, now, once again, we've made it to the final two bosses in BWL. And here is where the items start to really pack a punch. So the first thing that we're going to cover, this is one of the most iconic armor items in the game. And once again, you might have seen so many people transmogging these in later expansions. They're just part of vanilla, part of the image of vanilla. We're talking about the chromatic boots. So here's the thing. These boots are actually the best warrior DPS boots in the entire game throughout the entirety of Nex. There's nothing better. There's an alternative that you can get an AQ40, which is basically the same thing, but they're actually slightly worse. I think they give slightly less base stats. I'll have them up on the screen here. So the chromatic boots are by far the best ones that you can get. For a warrior, they give 20 strength for a bunch of AP, 20 agility, which is 1% chance to crit, 19 stamina, and 1% hit. So basically that's 20 strength, 19 stamina, one crit, one hit. That's kind of the way that you should be looking at these boots. They're honestly absolutely incredible. And I'd say the best part about them is that they look really freaking cool. Some people find they're corny, but I just, I like items like this. I like items that are subtle, but also kind of stand out and have a unique color. And Fury Warriors always kind of look gimmicky, like all colorful. And I don't know, maybe it's just nostalgia, but there's something that I really like about it. I know a lot of you guys despise it. I've heard people call Fury Warriors and Vanilla clown suits or the sets that they wear called clown suits, but I don't know. There's just something that I love about it. Okay, so this next item, where are my paladins at? <laughs> you paladins. Oh man, you guys are about to go through a serious power spike once BWL comes out. I mean, probably not close to the next Ramus power spike, but there's some ridiculously good items that the moment I put them on the screen, you're gonna understand exactly what I'm talking about. So what do Paladins love? What's the entire ethos of a Paladin? Healing power and critical strike with spells. Cause every time they cast a heal and it crits, they get their mana back refunded 100% for that spell. Check out these legs. They're called the empowered leggings. 12 intellect, 12 stamina, 24 spirit, 77 plus healing, and 1% chance to crit with spells. 77 on your legs and 1% chance to crit. I, I honestly don't really know what Blizzard was thinking. If you compare this to pretty much anything out there for the item level, it just doesn't exist. Like these are so far above and beyond pretty much everything that you can get as a healer when it comes to legs. And in terms of being itemized for a paladin, I mean, you can't ask for a better gift, at least in the current state of the game during this early phase. I don't really feel like there's much that needs to be said here. You paladins out there are looking at this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Once again, the piece de resistance, Nefarian. This guy obviously has the best loot, it's the highest item level, and some of these items are just absolutely ridiculous. First one that we gotta talk about, it's called the Pure Elementium Band. Look at the icon, it's basically a diamond wedding ring, I guess you could say, I mean, maybe a bit flamboyant, but this is the best ring in the game for pretty much every healer out there. And yes, all the way through Nax as well. 10 intellect, nine stamina, 10 spirit, and plus 53 healing. It's pretty much perfect. I don't feel like you can ask for anything more. This combined with the cauterizing band right now would give you plus 100 healing just from your rings alone. You have to admit that's pretty crazy. Now I said it's the best ring in the entire game and that's specifically for paladins through all the spreadsheets that I checked out. I think for druids as well, maybe I'm wrong, but pretty much for all classes, even the rings that you can get in AQ40 and the ones that you can get in Nax, the difference is so marginal that this is basically a Nax ring. It's just as good as every ring that you can get in the latest tiers of content. All right, now this one I wanna put a pretty heavy emphasis on because it's kind of something that a lot of people don't even know exist. There's a couple items in Blackwing Lair that kind of look a little bit mundane or just never became super infamous, like the chromatic boots, for instance, is a great example. And these are also boots. It's called Boots of the Shadow Flame. These are some of the best rogue boots out there. Also good for Fury Warriors, of course, if you're not able to get the chromatic, but specifically for rogues, these are some of the best ones that you can get if you don't have full set bonuses from either tier two or tier 2.5. 22 stamina, 44 attack power, and 2% chance to hit. The stats are just off the chain insane value. This is kind of similar to the amount of stats that you would get from Drake Fang Talisman. And everyone knows Drake Fang Talisman as being a ridiculous DPS increase. So these boots are basically in the same range. They look maybe a little bit mundane, but I kind of think they're cool in their own way. They're subtle and they do stick out with the right set. Some people might think you just have these random boots and you're going out to fish in the mud or something. But realistically, you have boots that were crafted by the magic of Shadow Flame, which are allowing you to just tear things up. All right, now in the same line for rogues, warriors actually and hunters as well. 
here's one of the best necklaces in the entire game. Although how many times have you heard me say that for so many different items? But the reality is it's actually true. This is the best necklace that you can get for a hunter and a rogue. And it's also for Fury Warriors, the best neck that you can get is the Onyxia Tooth Pendant, but this is so close. It's, it's like 0.1% crit off from being the BIS necklace for Fury Warriors as well. It's called Prester's Talisman of Connivory, and it's just a complete glass cannon item. 30 agility, which is 1% chance to crit for a rogue and 1.5% chance to crit for a warrior. For a hunter, unfortunately, it's like 0.6% chance to crit, but it gives them like 60 AP, I believe, ranged AP. And on top of that, it's 1% chance to hit. It's a ton of attack power or a ton of crit for a fear warrior, a good amount of crit for rogues and hunters as well on top of that, and 1% chance to hit. It might not be your go-to PvP necklace because it doesn't have any stamina, but for parsing players who are trying to get the most DPS and get on Warcraft logs, this is the exact item that they salivate for. And I think the icon looks pretty cool. Like the moment someone inspects you, you see that it just, it looks pretty badass. All right, now here's the last item that we're gonna cover on the list. Last but not least, like they say, right? In fact, this is probably the highlight of the entire dungeon and it's the one armor item that's guaranteed gonna cause tons of drama out there, similar to DFT and Neltharion's tier. In fact, I'm guilty of this. When I was in my younger days, I actually G quit a guild over not getting this. I was talking DPS all the time. I felt as though I deserved it. They gave it to a warlock who doesn't need crit as much as I do. In fact, he needed hit as his number one prio. He should have gotten his tier 2.5, but they gave it to him over me and I pretty much lost my mind and G quit and then joined another guild immediately. And funnily enough, after joining the new guild that I joined, I got it after two weeks. It's called Mishundare Circlet of the Mind Flayer. This is the best helmet that you can get on a mage and on a paladin until late Nax. In fact, I think it might be the best in slot paladin healing helmet even over tier three. Actually, I think that's Deviate Growth Cap, Never mind. but it's basically one of the best helmets and if you don't have Deviate Growth Cap, I think it's still better than Rocking Tier 3 on a Paladin Healer. This is a super unique helmet just in its itemization. It gives 24 Intellect, 15 Stamina, 35 Spell Power, and 2% chance to crit with spells. So just a little bit over 2% considering the 24 Intellect is also going to boost your crit rating. This is what Fire Mages are looking for, of course, because they're trying to stack as many Ignites as possible by critting, and Paladins, they're trying to get their mana back by critting as many heals as they can. Trust me when I say this, this helmet is going to cause drama in your guild. At least if there's a lot of battling egos. This and Naltharion's tier to me are the highlights of Black and Lair. So there you guys have it. That's the video. Some ridiculous highlights. I feel like all of these videos, you know, the thing with Black and Lair, there's so many good items, especially in respect to Molten Core, that it's it's just content for me. There's so many good items there that I could make tons of videos covering all the different ones. And that's pretty much what I'm gonna keep doing. I love hyping up these items because I have such a deep connection to them. A lot of you guys don't view me as a retail player, but I have played pretty much every expansion except for Legion. And on all of my characters, I always transmog the old school items that are special to me. And a huge factor for me liking vanilla so much are actually a lot of these armor pieces. The power spike that you experience on your character, the look, the feel, the work that you put in in order to put yourself in a position to actually obtain them. They're just special. And there's tons of them coming with Blackwing Lair. And I hope you guys are excited for it. Now, of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill soldiers. The notification bell to be notified every single time I post a new video straight out of the render oven. And with that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.